Harry Potter lived at number four Privet Drive with his horrible uncle and aunt and their hateful son Dudley. Harry was often locked in his room and even though he is a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic when he was away from school. One evening, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Harry's best friend Ron Weasley and his brothers Fred and George arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. They flew him to their home, the Burrow, where Harry spent the rest of the summer before traveling by flu powder to Diagon Alley. Harry met up with Ron's sister, Ginny, and went with her to Flourish and Blots, where the famous wizard author, Gilderoy Lockhart, was signing his latest book. Great Scott, is that? No, surely not. It is. It's Harry Potter. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that I will be taking up the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. Oh. Bet you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. Harry! We've missed the train! The Hogwarts Express left five minutes ago! Oh no! What are we going to do? Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. Okay, it's our only chance of getting to school on time. Being sure to check that no one was watching, Ron and Harry took off in the old Ford Anglia. Now all we've got to worry about are airplanes. <laughs> I can't see anything in here. bubbles and welcome back to my channel also welcome if you are new so we are jumping right into it this is the second series for the chamber of secrets harry potter game from like 2001 2002 i don't know it's old anyway so I'm very excited to start this out but the reason i didn't have like a normal intros because the menu screen is not an actual screen it, like straight uploads into the game as soon as you click new game so yeah anyway we have to save ron because he got nabbed by the pumping willow and i'm going to get my face smashed in if i'm not careful so this one is I can open chest with the Alahamora spell. 
To cast a spell, press and hold the left mouse button. Yes, I know. Um, this one is probably my favorite of the three that I've, I'm going to play since I haven't played the third one. But... Anyway, it's uh, it's quite a bit more detailed than the last one and it's still detail more detail than the third one but it has mechanics from both the first and the third one and it happens to be my favorite mechanics like this one so if you remember in the last one the luma spell used to put little platforms down this is a save book walk into them to save the current state of your game when you faint your game will automatically revert to the point where and when you last touched a save book. Um, and so now the Lumo spell, like, opens secret, uh, walls up, which is cool. Um, and so, like last time, I'm not gonna talk when there's a, you know, dialogue, so, I yeah. I bet I can pass Rependo on that luggage to push it to that ledge. Rependo! I like how there's just luggage sitting out in the lumpy mall. Hurry! This branch is squeezing me like a snake! No, oh, you'll be fine. Uh, you'll be fine, Ron. It's me who's gonna get deaded. A chocolate frog. Chocolate frogs replenish some of your stomach. They also taste delicious. And they're also hard to catch. <laughs> Alahamora! Alahamora can open up magically locked objects such as chests and secret doors. They also changed some of the sound effects for some items, like the frog was a little different and the beans are different. I like the bean noise. The bean noise makes me happy. <laughs> it's in the third one too, so fun stuff. Yeet. Good job, Harry. Now, see if you can cast for a pendo on this branch to get it off me. I think I see a sensitive spot right there. The pendo! Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Oh, Take no. your sweet frickin' time there, Ron, will ya? See, it took so long. The tree, si tree. That is totally a tree. <laughs> My dad won't be happy that I lost his flying car. The truck said, anyway, "Nope." <laughs> we better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. You were seen. Not only does Lumos <laughs> cast light, it also reveals magical hidden things. You were seen by eight. <laughs> I love how angry he gets. <laughs> to jump, run to the ledge and press the right mouse button. Ron, why Try do you keep talking about mouse buttons? Harry. I'm so confused. Those are Bertie Bot's every flavor beans. I should collect as many as I can. They'll come in handy later. Harry, you need to get onto this ledge over here. Yes, we need to collect beans like they're drugs. <laughs> Cast Flapendo to push the block towards me, and then use it to jump to this ledge. Harry's got hops. He got me traps. Ooh, okay. There's some of those that look look like they have secret hiding spots, but they're not, and they confuse me. This is a bronze wizard card. There are 50 of these scattered throughout Hogwarts. Each time you collect 10 bronze cards, you're given a permanent stamina increase. Pressing the escape key will allow you to access the Folio Magi. 
and look at the wizard cards you've collected thus far. I will attempt to do a completionist run of this. I think I've done it before. Because there's some there's some hidden spaces that are a little um <clears throat> sassy, if you will. <laughs> I guess that's one one con about this game is that normally with these they have like a set of rules and hints about where the secret spots are and this one doesn't always follow its own rules and I'm like eh, but why like these two these look like hiding spots but they're not I don't know I just don't know and we get to explore so much of the castle in this one it's great the rain has stopped at least we'll be dry when we get expelled Come on! We'd better get up to the school! <laughs> but first, I'm gonna what? explore. Because it's Look my job. The stars. Stars. Ooh, stars. Yeah, I think Ron's not the one lost. <laughs> As we're wandering around like an idiot. The Gryffindor dormitory is just over here to the right, remember? Um, so in this one, there's a lot of free exploration you can do, but for this first part, I'm not gonna go around looking at all the secret places, but they don't change, because like in the first one, they changed. The dormitory is up here, Harry. So you would have to go through each of the parts when you got out of class or whatever scene and look for stuff. But this one you can go at any time. Finally, there's the portrait of the pink lady. Give her the password and let's go to bed. I thought you'd have the password. Why would I have the password? Why would I have it? I've been with you since we got here. You're right. I better know who would have it. There you are. Right on time. I heard the most incredible story about you two getting expelled over a flying car. Oh, Marnie, please! We're tired! Could you just tell us what the password is? What a bird. It's good to see you again, Harry. There you two are. Brilliant entrance. Got the year off with a bang. Mum's furious, by the way. You two should hear about the bean trading system we've set up. Oh God. It's based on Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. You guys and beans. Fred, myself, and several of our associates have set up trading opportunities throughout Hogwarts. Some of us will occasionally have an item to trade. If you have enough beans, we'll trade with you. Where are we supposed to get all these beans? They're hidden all over the place. It's not hard to find them. You should have enough to start trading in no time. It will be a pleasure doing business with you, I'm sure. Once inside the common room, Harry was greeted by the cheers of his fellow Gryffindors. Harry and Ron became Gryffindor heroes due to their little accident with the Wamping Willow. Harry slept well that night and looked forward to his first day at Hogwarts. defense against the dark arts lesson with professor lockhart e. i just love his books he's such a brilliant writer defense against the dark arts on the third floor follow us and so because the secret hiding spots are all over the place and you can visit them anytime you need to unlock all the spells in order to get to all of them oh 
which Filch's cat, Mrs. Norris. Why is she so cute, but so evil? Anyway. So, I'm not gonna visit all of the secret spots. Harry, defense against the dark <clears throat> arts is up here. Try to hurry, Harry. We'll get to see Gilderoy Lockhart in person. I think we already did that, didn't we? <laughs> I don't want to go back. <laughs> Screw that guy. But, anyway, so... I'm gonna... Do... Hello, Harry. Can y'all just oh, shut hello, up Nick. so I can talk, please? Even after all these years, I still find new secrets in Hogwarts. Here's a special area that you can unlock only if you collect all 40 silver wizard cards. For every 10 silver wizard cards you collect, you'll get a key that will allow you to open one of the four locks on the door. See if you can find all 40 silver wizard cards hidden throughout Hogwarts and the grounds. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna visit all the secret places until we get all the spells, basically. That's my point. Oh, and this room is fun. So yeah, we're gonna try and get all of the wizard cards and do a completionist route because I want to. I like how I just said I was gonna wait to go through all the secret places until I learned the spells and I'm like, no, beans! <laughs> beans! So many beans! <sighs> Remember where it is, don't you? You idiot! <laughs> I'd better get out of here. Filch might be lurking nearby. Well, well, well. I heard a crash, and what do I find? Mr. Harry Potter and a broken, irreplaceable antique vase. Argus Filch, the caretaker, was loathed by every student at Hogwarts. Some thought his cat, Mrs. Norris, spied on students. She does. She totally Honestly, knows. Honestly, it, it just fell. <laughs> what was that? Hey, what are you talking about? I heard a voice. Hearing voices won't get you off. I'll mark this down against you. Now move along while I clean this up. I must have been hearing things. Ah, uh, yes. In time for Harry's delusions. Fun! And also, Filch is just an angry janitor, let's be honest. <laughs> oh god. I forgot about you guys. Okay, okay. Fun part about this one. You get to throw these guys like a bowling ball. <laughs> Poor music. Welcome to Defense Against the Dark Arts. My fame makes an introduction unnecessary, but I'll delight you with one anyway. I am Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, third class. Honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League, and five-time winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. Ah, I see you've all bought a complete set of my books. Well done. Today, we shall be learning the Rictus Sempra spell. Rictus Sempra is very useful when stunning certain pesky creatures such as Cornish Pixies. Who wants to be first? Harry Potter, will you step down here, please? Lucky? No, I'm not lucky, Hermione. That guy is a slimy weirdo. <laughs> Clear your mind completely, Harry. Don't even think about me. And that won't be difficult. On the symbol in front of you. See the wand? It's going to move its way around the symbol. Really? At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three parts. You must hit all of the arrows correctly in order to progress to the next round. Ready to try? 
Round one, begin. This is like one of those uh, dance games. Wow. I like the sparkles. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next oh round. Oh my gosh, I'm Five so good at this Gryffindor. professor. Round <laughs> two, begin. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, begin. Intense concentration. Fabulous work, Harry! Aren't you glad you've learned from the likes of no. me? You've now completed the exercise. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You've learned Rick to Sempra. You didn't do as well as I did the first time, but then... Oh, good who for you. Now, how about a turn in the Lying spell practice piece arena? Of poo. <laughs> Welcome, Harry Potter, to my famous Rick to Sempra challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which will be found at the top of this tower. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you will find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. Try and find them all. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Ready to begin? Good luck! Three, two, one, go! Ah, uh, yeah, so the challenges in this game are a little different, and Bats, I really like them. A nasty little pests that like to shoot hot flame out of the their butt! Well, at you. Just say you it, their bum! Rick to on them. <laughs> then you can use Flipendo to push them around. He shoots laser beams with his that a mind. This firecrack placed on or nearby the symbol will cause something to happen in the world, Harry. Try and use Flipendo to push the firecrack onto this plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to do it. And funnily enough, the the Rick to Sempra symbol is different for this game versus the third one for some reason so the red arrow thingy is actually Depulso in the third game which we learn well we don't learn it per se but like we already know it and something evil trying to shoot fire at me. Oh, it's you. Um, and Rank to Sempra is a spiral? A, like, magenta pinky spiral in the third game? So, I don't know. I guess it's because they didn't have Flipendo in the third one. They replaced it with Depulso. I suppose. I don't know. Whatever. That's a giant orange snail. Avoid touching them or their slime trails. The acid that they secrete will burn you. Harry, trust me, I know. Rick to Sempra will stun them, and then you can use Flipendo to push them around. Did you have a little too much fun with the slime one day, Professor? <sighs> No, it's too bad they don't make me explode like the last one. Damn. Could you stop that? I don't appreciate the fire. Piss off. <laughs> I like how it screams. It's like. <laughs> Why it screamed? <laughs> No, 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 we get in secrets first. We must get secrets. I like committing animal abuse. Wait, don't take that out. <laughs> No, no, Harry, no. <laughs> 
I'm getting too eager. Are a greedy lot. They will try to steal your Bertie Bot's beans. Flipendo will push them onto their backs and cause them to drop anything they might have stolen. You can also pick up gnomes, throw them around, throw them into a gnome hole to permanently get rid of them. That is a gnome hole. This is where gnomes come from and where they go to deposit stolen goods. Throw gnomes into these holes to permanently get rid of them. You cannot climb into them. Dang it. <laughs> what if they got goods in here, bruh? But I will gladly stop shaking your butt at me, you gross little weirdo. <laughs> oh, he make funny noises when I hold him. Here, let's let's shake him up a little. Let's just shake him, babysitter. Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> and then go away. <laughs> this guy is such a narcissist. He puts pictures of his stupid face in the challenges. I never understood this guy's character because it's like, you know, you made Hermione out to be this very intelligent, you know, woman and she don't need no man, like that's the vibes I get from her, but she fawns over this guy and I'm like, ew, <laughs> please don't, <laughs> please stop. Could you just please get in there, please? This music is way too intense. No! I don't want to hug. You're gonna set me on fire. Well, not fire. You're gonna burn me. Rude. More beans. I like how the thing holding the torch is an arm. Never noticed that. That's funny. <laughs> Just not go anywhere? Okay. I mean, I'll accept that. Yes. But I wanted to kick you into a hole because it's fun. So I'll just hit you multiple times. That's fine too. I swear there's like. Oh, there it is. There's like little blocks in the wall that are little secrets. Here, here it is. 
I don't want to miss them because sometimes they're above eye level. And I'm like, ew. <laughs> I do like that they changed the card animation so it was quicker, but it makes sense because the way they had to do this one, it's t the challenges, all the challenges are timed, so. So let's match this guy's stupid face. with me more beans I can't speak English it's fine <laughs> whatever you get my point <laughs> Check behind me, you sneaky game. Really, you're just gonna give me beans, really? No card? No nothing? Okay, fine. I'll take it. Fine. This is pictures of his stupid face. Just stop. I want to know who painted that mini. Because I feel bad for him. You know? Ah yes, climbing down the precarious ledges. Also, the controls on this one are a lot better because they don't. For some reason, moving the mouse up and up and down would flip the screen weirdly in the first one, and it's like a normal um, keyboard mouse game now. I don't know. I don't know why they did that. It's weird. It's fine. The first one still had its charm. Uh, 
are y'all supposed to go anywhere? No. I can't even go in there. Okay. My why see this is what confuses me. There's a giant hallway here. And nothing secret. <laughs> it makes me feel like I missed stuff. I got beans. I won't starve. Okay, home switch. Switch? Switch. English. English is hard. English is very hard. Good <laughs> Stretch. Final stretch, excuse me. <laughs> ah, yes, this is cool though. Not gonna. Lift the and there's a final secret too. Yeetus deletus. <laughs> did you did you go where you're supposed to go? Or did you fall in the wrong spot like an idiot? No, you're down there. Huh, okay. Is that everything? Can I get up there now? Okay. Secret spot. It's over here. Whee! You gotta lower it down before you can get to the secret spot. And there's a secret spot inside the secret spot. Fun! No, no, none of that. And tush! Really? One bean? You suck. <laughs> this music makes me want to go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Okay, let's try and not get yeeted off the ledge. Because if I do, I will die from fall damage. Yay. Yay. Well done, Mr. Potter. You have completed my writ to Sempra challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. Lit.
Okay, so I'm going to cut it here, but I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode and you get to see how different it is compared to the first one, but anyways, so there will be a part two coming out next week, so I'll see you then. Other than that, I'll see you next week. Bye! Thank you.